I'm Bryce Adam. I'm Calvin McGillis. And this is our Coach's Cut of the McBain JV versus the Manton JV. So this first place, this first play here, we're on offense. And you can see how the line pushes everyone over. Caleb Miller makes a man miss back here, and he just finds the seam and just runs and bolts up to the touchdown. So we'll go back to the beginning of that play and Right when so it starts, right off the get go. So, good ball gets snapped. Eli makes a good handoff, and there's a wide open gap right here. One guy does get in, or tries to make a tackle on Caleb Miller, but really only one guy to make a miss, and that was already what an eight yard gain by then. Yeah. So it was very positive right there. That's a great job from like these making this wall. Henry Voss, Logan Overman, and Peyton Scotland. They did a very good job of getting up. So did the other guys, but they were like the good three that made that wall. We'll move on to the next play. All right, we're on defense now. It is a third down, third five. And it's a big play here. Yes. There's a pitch and gets absolutely blown up by Caleb Miller. But everyone does their job right there. Caleb Miller contains the outside. Defensive line comes up and they make good good contact. And I think it's the, this guy right here actually tries to make or block Miller, but he just does a great job of shedding that and just able to get back there and hit the pitch hard. And you can see he fumbled it there for a second. Yeah, and that's like a loss of at least five or ten, so pretty good job. So we'll move on to the next play now. So we're back in offense now. Eli gets snap, hands it off to Caleb Miller, and he gets up the shoot again. Makes one guy miss, two guys miss, and then he is gone. A pretty good game. Yeah, just uses his speed, which I've no one else seems to have. Like he's pretty fast. Yeah, like, he's a pretty fast kid. Yeah. That's just an also a great job. We'll go back to a little bit. Go back a little bit. So right here from the get go, you see all these guys. They get they're making that wall. They push those four guys out of the way, and Logan does a very good job of getting upfield. He doesn't find a guy to block, but like that's good to see. Like. Say if there was a safety there, he would have had him. That makes it just an easier run. So it's good to see him get up there and make that good wall. And there's also a very good hole right there. So we'll move on to the next play now. Back on offense. About 30 seconds left in the first. Ball handed off, or it's a pass to Brett, who makes a good catch. And Luke Hoytinga making a good block here making sure that guy didn't get him. And just, I think, who was that? A middle linebacker or a linebacker came and just ran Brett down. Yeah, but another thing we'll go back to is that like, um, great blocking from the offensive line, but also great blocking from Luke Cuttinger, like heads up play, like, hey, I'll get a block for my teammate and make this game turn into what? Another 10, 15 yards? Five. Five yards? All right, we'll move on. Okay, back on defense. Punt return. I think that's Trent Brunick. That's just a great job from the whole punt return team to get their blocks. Like, punt returning, like, either it can be a very explosive play or it can not be explosive at all. Yeah. But if you get people that can block downfield, like everyone has a guy right here, like you can kind of tell that everyone's blocking someone. Yes, two guys get out, but if you have two guys getting out and you get a 35 yard plus gain on the play. And you can see the punt of line of scrimmage is, go for, is right here. And he gets to about here. Yeah. Which it's always a great play when you get past where you could have been. And it puts you in great field position. Yeah, sets your offense up for some good plays to come, maybe some more touchdowns. Yeah, so we'll move on to the next. So this is a field goal attempt from Thomas Maloney. It is about a 30 yard field goal. Oh, yeah, no. it's about uh, yeah, 30, 30 yard, yard field, goal. field goal. And it's up and good, but we'll go back to the beginning of this play. Like right when the ball gets snapped, you see that no one gets through this. All these guys get blocked and it just causes that good wall and it, Makes it a lot easier to kick it. 
especially when you have no one like if you can take your time to kick it it makes life a lot easier instead oh, yeah. of five people coming through the line trying to kick, to kick it as kick hard it, as you yeah. can but yeah you sound like you're speaking from experience i am speaking from experience <laughs> but yeah it makes it a lot easier and everything so we'll move on to the next play now so we're back in offense fourth quarter Thomas Maloney's quarterback passes to Grayson Gernsney and he's able to catch it and fight through that tackle for a touchdown and that's just a great play by two freshmen good throw by Thomas way for Grayson to know that he was coming up near the sideline and just to cut up the field yeah instead, instead of, of keep just stopping there. and waiting for the ball yeah just sitting there and not doing anything being like head is up play like hey I'm gonna go make myself open because I'm not gonna be open just standing there doing nothing and that was about a 20 yard throw and Grayson would have originally if he just sat there would have been here but you see he catches the ball right about here which is five ten yards up field from where he actually could have been yeah which also helps with getting field the touchdown position. there yeah and great blocking by I can't see whose number that is I think it's Aiden Cucci but that's great blocking there too because he saw Grayson catch it and he pushed him which gave Grayson a little bit of an extra yeah instead of that defender coming up and smoking him yeah. he's able to fall in the end zone extra feet. still gets tackled but hey getting tackled in the end zone is a lot better than getting tackled short yeah 